a term that I had no idea what it meant until I started working at the IRI. I mean, it's like uh, this thing is going on in the Pacific Ocean. Sea so that is gently moving and then suddenly coupling and the atmospheric bridge. A great source of predictability and changes in the rainfall pattern. Droughts in some places over land and floods in other regions. Lots of rain, rain, rain in various parts of the world. More forecast skill, better predictions for regional climate. Higher forecast skill and feeling more worthy about my career. El Nino is a chance to make strong forecasts. El Nino usually means drought in the Sahel, but not this year. El Nino means stressful climate conditions for farmers where I work in Ethiopia. Higher malaria transmission in Eastern Africa, especially Ethiopia and Kenya. More food insecure farmers in Central America and the Caribbean. Coffee, plant diseases that are intensified by the drought condition. Whoa, El Nino can threaten global coffee supplies and raise prices? We hope we can do something useful. Uh, with the information on El Nino. Way too much work for us here at the IRI, but that's probably a good thing. It means we have a conference to look forward to. El Nino means a lot of excitement and work at the IRI. El Nino means that you can diversify climate risk, allows farmers to anticipate and therefore manage shifts in growing season conditions. More friends and family asked me uh, what the forecast is for where they live. Uh, hopefully more rain for my parents in Southern California more winter hiking and less winter skiing. To me, El Nino means bigger and better waves in the Eastern Pacific. If you are not well prepared, it's exceptional in a bad way. It means there will be shock waves around the world. A crazy world. El Nino means I made this video.